What's up everyone? It's that time of the month again where I go over everything that sold for the month of July. So for the month of July, um, it was less than what I sold last month. So if you want to go ahead and check out that video that I did last month for the month of June, you can go ahead and click it somewhere over here. But um, yeah, it was a hundred dollar difference from what I sold last month. But I'll go ahead and let you guys know the total profits earned for the month of July at the end of the video. I know I started this series naming every single item that sold off eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. But then now that I'm starting to, you know, sales are starting to increase and more items are starting to sell, the list goes on and on and on. And like, there's just too many items to go over. So for this video, I'm just going to let you guys know the most profitable items that sold for the month of July. Um, most of which, um, you know, had profits of $20 and above. So for the month of July, I sold a total of 26 items on eBay, 6 items on Poshmark, and 10 items on Mercari. I didn't sell anything um, on Facebook Marketplace this past month, so nothing to share on that app. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go over the 8 most profitable items for um, July. So for the first item that sold on eBay are these um, Hoppy Vander Hair Vintage Dolls. They were like rabbits or bunnies and some old school vintage bears. But um, yeah, I got that whole lot for $14 and it sold for $51 plus shipping. Uh, the second item are these Guess Wedges. They were personal. They were my mom's that she no longer wanted and sold for $20 plus shipping. So that was all profit right over there. Um, the third item... This was surprising. Um, Kuvin and I found this old school vintage tech deck handboard um, for only $1.99 at EcoThrift. And surprisingly, it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. So that was that was a pretty cool find. And it's funny because Kuvin was going to keep that for himself. But um, he said, you know, if it sells, it sells kind of thing. And, and yeah, so it sold and we got good profit out of that for only paying a buck. 99. Um, moving on to Poshmark, um, these pair of rainbow Crocs, I was going to keep it for myself and then, you know, I just have too many Crocs that I put it up and it sold for $45. I ended up purchasing it at Ross for $19.99. Um, but yeah, so got about $20 profit from there. Um, and then the last thing that sold on Poshmark is another personal item, which is this Nike Swoosh sports bra which sold for $27. And then moving on to Mercari, um, the first item that sold is this Nike SB camo hat. Um, I want to say it's vintage. I'm not quite sure, but I, as I was listing it, I didn't find any exact match on this hat. So um, like I saw similar ones, but the designs weren't the exact same. Um, so I ended up putting it up for 80 bucks and I took an offer of $72.90. So that was a huge profit right over there, especially since we only purchased it for $6.39 at Goodwill. Um, and then the next item is this Apple MagSafe 2 power adapter. So essentially it's like an Apple charger. Picked it up at Goodwill for $6.99 and it sold for $25. And then the last profitable item for the month of July is this um, North Face backpack. We bought it for $9.39 at Goodwill and it sold for $40. So those were the eight most profitable items that carried most of the weight in terms of profits um, for the month of July. So in total for everything that sold, all 42 items on either eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, the total estimated profits is listed right over here. So it's definitely $100 less than what uh, we made last month, but I mean, that's okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and list out everything else on the screen here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop up the rest of the items here on the screen. Um, that also sold so you guys can have an idea of other items here i yeah, sold a lot of personal clothing items some shoes and some other um you know items that we purchased at goodwill or other thrift stores you guys can check out the screenshots here and stuff like that um i've noticed that you know that sometimes brands don't really matter it just kind of depends on you know what that person is looking for this is just coming from my personal experience and stuff like that you know i watch a lot of uh, youtubers uh, focusing on like name brands high profitable items and stuff like that but 
you know you just never know so i kind of just put up everything the little profits do add up as well so you know it's better to you know give it a chance and put it up and you just never know that buyer may be interested or maybe searching for that item that you that you put up so the month of july overall didn't beat last month's profits but that's all right that's just the name of the game how it goes um and you know we're just gonna move forward and see what august has in store Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below, drop a like. Let me know what was the most profitable item that you guys sold. But um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace for now.